what's up? This is Leah and this is my new vlog. It's called On the Road with Leah because currently I'm on the road. I've been in LA for 11 years and just recently I decided to take a leap of faith and go out to the East Coast for a few months and try my hand at this bi-coastal thing. That's where all my family is running through my head of if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're gonna keep getting the same results. I was really inspired by my girlfriend Helena Santos, who does a weekly vlog called Helena's Tinseltown Tuesdays. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Season three is now on somebody's basement and it airs every Guys, Tuesday. What I'm doing, even though I'm not in Los Angeles, what I'm doing on the East Coast. Uh, you know, I just sent out a hundred postcards to casting directors on the East Coast, and I went to an open call and doing all kinds of stuff, which I will be getting into every week. Um, to show you, but for this week's episode, I figured it would be cool just to show you some clips, some highlight clips from my journey across the United States of America. Here you go. I've been in LA for 11 years, and um, I've built a pretty solid foundation here, and a community of actors and peers, and acting coaches, and mentors, and support system, and I'm kind of terrified to leave that. Um, so I'm printing out directions, and uh, packing is about 98% done, just the like carry-on kind of stuff. I'm, I mean, I'm driving, so when I say carry-on, I mean, you know, the stuff that I need to be at. Okay, I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I am officially driving away from Los Angeles. Um, Alright, first stop, Starbucks. What it sounds like in my car. How you guys doing? This was gonna be difficult with two kitty cats, uh, but I didn't realize how difficult it was gonna be. I think I'm gonna start looking for hitchhikers. I'm <laughs> so alone. I don't know when I became such a badass, <laughs> but I am so badass. If you guys would have seen my last two hours. I wasn't quite ready to stop yet, but we had just gotten into the Nebraska borderline, and I figured that was a good place to stop. And the cat started crying, and so I pull off, and the Super 8 was just way overpriced for a little town in Nebraska, so I figure, oh, I'll go on to the next town. Like 10 hotels, and they're all sold out. So my next choice is like 45 minutes away, and the cats are crying, and now I'm tired, and I'm scared, and it's windy and there's all these trucks and I'm having bad signal on my phone. I gotta say, I'm pretty badass. Whatever lucky man out there ends up with me as their wife, they're really lucky. I don't know where that just came from. It's not interesting because this is day three and it's like, wow, I'm really doing this. Like, I'm really doing this. Iowa. Apparently, Iowa rocks. And it's day three, and we're in Des Moines, Iowa. Um, we had a really good day today. The transition from car to hotel is still a little iffy, but everything's going pretty darn well, considering. I think I've driven about 16, 1700 miles so far. I made it finally through Nebraska. We are in Iowa City at the Common. <laughs> The come and go even makes them. Pumpkin spice latte. It's called Clyde, Ohio. You're at 100 mile marker. Yes, it is. If you wait long enough, the whole circus goes by. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we did not make it tonight. Pull over in New Stanton, PA. I have five hours left, but it's raining and it's dark and the Pennsylvania Turnpike sucks. I just want to say that the Pennsylvania Turnpike sucks because the last time I drove on the Pennsylvania Turnpike was 11 years ago and there was construction on it then and there's construction. Oh, Pennsylvania, how beautiful you are. Not. <laughs> It's raining and it's cold and I've still got flip-flops on because all my other shoes are packed away. from 
on my trip, yes, it was awesome. <laughs> and uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, you can find the full vlogs on my YouTube page. Uh, I actually did a five minute vlog every single day on the road and uploaded it from the hotel before I took off the next day. I'll show you what I've been doing in my first two weeks on the East Coast. I will tell you this, it does involve a lot of horror since it's Halloween and October is my favorite month. It's a lot of scary stuff. I'll see you next week. Peace out.